swamp. I can't even focus. You're playing with all of these toys. <laughs> oh, oh. We gotta get out of here. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we got more dinosaurs for you guys. This is cool because we got the uh, Jurassic World and some looks familiar to you, but guess what? When you guys put in the comments that you said that, hey, you got the Gigantosaurus before, but it doesn't make sound. So we finally got the one that makes sounds. It's super cool. And then on top of that, you know, we got the Conotaurus. In fact, all of them make sounds, including the ones from Animal Planet, which is so huge. Not only does it make sounds, but it actually has lights that come through their eyes. It looks pretty creepy. And also for the Spinosaurus, how it's back hackles up and that lights up. You guys got to stay and watch because we got more. And I got to hurry because I'm kind of crouching like this because this box is so huge it doesn't retain me so if i don't hurry up i'll just drop by Yay! <sighs> had to push the big box out of the way we're going to go from the smallest to the largest well the largest in the collection here that we have with the big box and the first one to start off with is the Therizinosaurus. and we already covered this one but i wanted to have a face off against the gigantosaurus here and that one actually makes sounds and just kind of do a little play battle scene it seems pretty fun you got to stay tuned so there it is it's the jurassic world dominion sound slashing Therizinosaurus. and you can see that when you bat its tail back and forth it shakes its head like no 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 don't bat my tail and then you can also push the tail up and down and it nods up and down like, yeah, it's okay to do that. Up at the top, you can see that it's got a speaker, so it actually makes sounds. There's on the back. It shows you it actually has the word chomp when it goes down by pushing the button on the back. And then it's got the tail swagging. And then it says next to the speaker, slashing action. That's going to be cool. And then also you can collect the T-Rex, which you guys want to watch the other video because we already have him. Because we already have her. Because if you want to see that one, go ahead and, uh, gosh, I don't know if this is our sixth or seventh episode of, like, dinosaurs. But it's been really fun. So let's go ahead and open this bird up. I mean, it does kind of look like a bird, doesn't it? With big shark claws. Okay, that was easy. And what about this one? I just don't want to hurt the bird. Oh, it might be attached at the bottom. Uh, actually, there's some... you think it'd be easier the second time I've done this. But no, it's still hard. It's still like, wow, this is all new to me. Oh, yeah, different way of opening it up. Ah... There's the culprit right there. It was taped in. There's our bird. Ooh. Now remember, it's got this umbilical cord thing because that is to let you know it slipped in between the batteries so the batteries can't make a complete circuit. So when you, when you push on it, you play with it at the store, it doesn't drain the batteries. So when the kid actually buys it, takes it home, it's like, hey, it works, you know. Uh, speaking of which, before we actually pull it, let's go through all the actions here. Let's see if it can move its claws. It can go out. That's cool. Um, I think it looks creepier kind of coming in like this. I mean, it could go out like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> I just think that the claws are a lot closer to you and I in the front at scarier. And the feet, yeah, you can rotate the uh, thighs, the legs, and uh, just pretty much keep it like that. That just looks better. And then you can do the thrashing going back and forth and then up and down. Oh, look at that. She actually opens her mouth and snaps. And there's a button right here. Oh, that's even better. So that way, when you push the button, she dips and then she opens her mouth like she's ready to snack you. So first she has to scoop you. But if you're so tiny, she can't get her big pitchfork-like claws on you. That'd be a little bit hard. And then if you can bend her down far enough, Oh yeah, that works. She can actually eat the uh, <laughs> the droppings, you know. Uh, I can eat anything. Okay, that's cool. Now we gotta have the sound, right? Oh, and her feet. Uh, yeah, actually you can turn them out, right? Um, well, if you turn them in, she'd be bow-legged, pigeon-toed, but there, that works right there. Okay, so pretty cool, well balanced. Then we just gotta pull this out. And then once we do that, she'll make the sounds. In fact, let's... Man, she wasn't on cue. Well, let's go ahead and do it now. Okay, let's bring it up. So let's go ahead and do the thrashing. Now she's got quite a few different sounds there. I think there's at least three. And then when you push the button on the back without the thrashing back and forth and up and down. Okay, so I thought it's gonna be the same sound every time she dipped her head and opened her mouth, but the first two sounds were the same, but then it randomized, and I guess it gave us the third sound. So whether you shake her tail, go up or down, or push the button on her back here to make her mouth open, you're gonna get like at least four different sounds, it seems like. So that's really cool. And then there's the code card on the back. You can go ahead and scan it with your smartphone to learn a little bit more about our Therizinosaurus. Let's put her over here because we're going to build it up. We're building a suspense because the next thing we want to do is we want to pit her against the Gigantosaurus. I mean, just how big is this bird? Is it as big as the Gigantosaurus? I mean, I know a little bit about my dinosaurs, but anyways, right now they look to scale, so I'm good. So there's the Gigantosaurus here, and it's the Jurassic World Dominion, and it's the Strike and Roar. You can see over there that when you push the button on her tail, it'll strike, and then you can actually bend her down to go eat a baby dinosaur. <laughs> okay, she's got to eat. And the back... Oh. 
man. Good, good girl. <laughs> and there you go. It just shows you that you can actually use the button on her back to thrash around um, with the dinosaur that's already in her jaw. And it's got the speaker sound because she'll make sounds. And so this one's exciting because this will be the first Gigantosaur, if I remember right, in all of the videos we've done that actually can make sounds. So let's go ahead and open her up. Oh, maybe scissors work better on that one. Oh, there we go. I think she might be bolted in at the bottom. Tape here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's tape over here. Oh, we just got to pull that down more. It's like bending on something. There we go. Now you can see that she's like screwed in here because you got to twist these things to get them off. There we go. And I can't even see. Can you guys walk me through this? All right. Thanks for your help. Jeez. <laughs> you don't leave comments fast enough. The video's over. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, man. Like, oh. She can't even bounce because look at her toes. Look at her toes. They're turned in. I mean, that's just to fit her in the box, right? So we can turn her out and then turn her out. Okay, that looks more normal. And it looks like you can move her, uh, I don't know, kind of her like, it's not even her torso here, but the upper part of her body. And you can move her arms, I think, up or down. <laughs> kind of like marching. Um, but you can't move them in and out. And then for the jaw, it opens, yeah? Okay. Uh, so you got a tongue? Ew. I don't know if that's normal. I mean, it might be candida. Because <laughs> look at how white that is. I mean, that's pink, but it ain't red. So, oh, there's the code card on the back. So you just have to look for it. Okay. Oh, it comes all the way out. There we go. And then how many buttons do we have? I mean, what if I just thrash her about like this? Does that work? Oh, she looks a little bit noodly, so it may not be it. Oh, here's a button right here. Okay, there's a button right there, and there's a button underneath. And she's supposed to talk. So let's go ahead and squeeze the buttons, and let me mic her. Okay, so she went left. Wow, that was a good long one. And at the end, it sounds like she was either smacking something, just snacking on it and chomping it down, or took a step forward in aggression. First she yells, and then she steps. And then once she steps, you know, you're toast. So man, that's pretty cool. I mean, just how many sounds does she have? Let's find out. Let's keep tapping her back. I don't know, she sounds like she's having lunch or something or walking through the marsh. Okay, so we got a couple of sounds there, two or three, and that's for the button on the back. And then there's a button just underneath, and I think that's gonna control her yapper. So let's go ahead and see if we get a sound from her yapper. Wow, that one's different, because the last one she kind of roared, she had a stomp at the end or a crunch, but that, that one I haven't heard before. And that's from her yapper. How many more do we get from her yapper? Okay, now we heard that one before. So I bet, I think we have at least four different sounds. Now, if you combine the movements, it'll look super cool. So if you push on her back to flip her over, but then push her on her undertail here to open her mouth, it looks like she's really, you got some animation going on here. So I'll, let me see if I can mic her. It wasn't you, it was the camera. Jeez, don't get so, I mean, look, in the real shows, you got the camera, the dinosaur doesn't eat you. It goes after the camera. Sure. <laughs> it wants the camera, it hates the camera. Throw the camera at her. <laughs> so that's really cool, because you can really get flipping out on this, just waking out, that's awesome. And Oh man, she angry. So guys, in a fight, who's gonna win? Assuming that they're about the same size, put in the comments below which one you think would win. If she can just claw her and keep those choppers from like actually grabbing around her neck or something, uh, she's got a great chance. She just gotta swipe with those heavy pitchforks. Man, if she just dipped it right into her tongue there and then just yanked her down. Oh. And then she could once yank down. Shh, I'm trying to tell the story. As soon as she yanks down, she could just pitchfork it right into the back. Oh. We can PG. We get PG-13. Okay, well, I think that's what the show Jurassic World, I mean, it's probably a PG-13 thing anyways, but guys, that's super cool. Then if you were gonna play her, uh, the Gigantosaurus, then you just gotta make sure that you just, I don't know. And <laughs> game over. <laughs> that's it, you're toast. But you know what? If she could just stab her right. Look at that. If she can just stab her just really hard, just an uppercut, uppercut in boxing, you know, and just knock the chin, but with an uppercut with those, it would be a cut right in there. Okay, again, a little bit too graphic. That's okay, but you guys get the gist of it. They are great adversaries, in my opinion, with those uh, pitchfork claws and with their big yapper. Super cool, super fun.
Let's do this one next. The Jurassic World is massive action, Amplosaurus. I've never seen this one before in any of the videos that we've done. And with the massive action, you can see you can push on the tail and it just raises its head and it looks like it'll snap open. But this one, I don't think has a sound. So, you know, we may have to improvise and we can do that. Uh, there we go. She looks pretty cool and she's got that kind of armadillo backing kind of a thing with those spikes coming out and stuff and it's kind of like hard to even get a good bite out of her kind of a thing and her legs I mean you want to keep them where they're at but they are movable. Wow. And it actually clicks so that's cool and so it looks like she's taking a step forward so a little bit of action in her action figure which makes it really fun but you can't do both because oh well unless she needs to go down you know take a drink and so her front legs her hind legs they move really nice. Do they have a coat on the back? I think they do. Just to pull up one of the uh, knobbies there. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't make a sound. So you got a button right here. Can I thrash her? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And then when I push the button. Oh, wow. Man, she's snapping at you guys. I call her snappy. Yeah, it's like it, it kind of sticks in the back. So it just basically keeps her jaw open the whole time. But you can snap at her. Okay, maybe I used too much force and now she's locked jaw. <coughs> Oh, there it snaps open. Okay, so, you know, the, how many snaps you get out of this? I don't know, you know, maybe for me, it was just three. <laughs> so I'll try to be gentler. Oh, see, it's already, ah, I just broke it. Oh, I went cray and camera mom's like, can we do that again? Oh, no, we can't. I just broke it. Maybe we twist. Okay, there we go. She just needed a little bit of a hi -ya! Maybe a little acupuncture. I don't know what it is. They say use pins, but why not use a knife? Gosh, she looks great. And I assume that her teeth are small, so she's got probably an herbivore. She might eat meats or a few bugs, right? Okay, next guys. We've already done her before, the Carnotaurus, but this one is different. This one's from Jurassic World and it's the Battle Chomping Carnotaurus and it's the epic attack. And so you can see the pictures. If you push down, her mouth opens. The second picture shows if you push on a point on her body, it actually lights up, looks like red and makes a sound. And it says three levels of intensifying damage. So I guess that's what's happening when you push on those spots. Her sounds and the light is gonna show you it's intensifying the damages. It's like maybe getting worse. Let's see what the back shows. <laughs> Okay, first of all, we got the extreme thrashing action. So you can move the tail around and it thrashes its head around just like a minotaur or a taurus. And then it's got the pressure points. You can push on her, the side, on her belly. And I think there's one on the back with the arrow pointing. So you push on those and I guess that causes her to scream, to yell, turn red, turn angry, or maybe that's damage done to her as I think that's what it is. Because right here over to the right, you got uh, three levels here. You got the first layer that you push on the first button that shows a light and a sound, then two lights and a sound, then three lights and a sound. And it says it's multiple action areas. So I guess those areas, I'm not sure if it's how many times you push or how many or different colors of light or something but we'll have to check that out and see what that is and as far as the epic attack goes it's got two different models down at the bottom gosh i don't know their names i think one of them is the dillo like what's the dillo with you we're not getting this and well we haven't found it yet and then the other one uh just kind of looks like a raptor so let's go ahead and open this one up here Thank goodness you're on that side of the camera. <laughs> uh, instructions, right? And then we just got to twist these knobbers one way or the other. I can't see the instructions. Are they saying twist that way or this way? I'll feel my way. I'll use the force. The force is against me. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that works. Because they had to fit her in the box, we better like adjust her feet, right? Oh, okay. I didn't think it was going to work. He's just snapping too hard, right? She looks good. So I think why they call her the Conotaurus, kind of like the Taurus part, you know, Minotaur and stuff. They got the horns. I mean, that's cool. But man, her arms are so teeny tiny. What's the point of having them? I mean, she couldn't swat herself if a bug got in her way. And I don't know if they... Oh. Uh, she said, don't touch me. I was trying to move it. And maybe that's just like to slow her down, wind resistance. I don't know when she gets running so fast. You can move them though. Okay, that's cool. And then, you know, you can move her feet or her legs and then her feet move. Anything else? Thrashing action? I don't know if she's gonna make a sound with the thrasher. Oh, you don't thrash her, you don't, you just turn the tail. You ever have dogs that look at you like, what? <laughs> <laughs> am I going to eat you? I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. We need to actually push. So if I push on the back, there's the button right there. Oh, there's the code card spot right there. If you need to actually look her up. So let's push on the button, see what sound she makes. I'm only getting two sounds. Let's see if we can do it at the same time.
That's cool. Just the fact that you can actually have her twist and then open her mouth. Like she's thinking about getting you and then at the last minute she decides. That's awesome. Okay, so we're getting some cool action there. Love it. And they just look like they both belong in the desert. Good camouflage, you know, a little bit of brown, a little bit of sandstone, kind of the color here. Okay, guys, here we go in for the Carnotaurus. There's the two buttons right there. There's the top one with some damage that right there that when you push on the button, it'll show that damage in red. And then down below, but you won't see it here because it's just too bright. So I'm going to go ahead and trump the light and then see what it really looks like with the damage and see if we can actually do both at the same time too. Here we go with the Carnotaurus. They got side damage. So just go ahead and push your side. Whoa, let's push the big one again. Cool. Oh, that, that's cool. It actually lights up in two different ways. Let's do it again third time. Okay, now with the one at the bottom. So you can see the one at the top and the one at the bottom is flashing. That's cool. Let's do it again. Oh man, that's awesome. Can you do both at the same time? Oh, you can. So they can both light up at the same time. That's awesome. They can both light up at the same time, man. That's what you got damage. Now we move on. We go outside the Jurassic world into Animal Planet. You can see right there, this one's by Animal Planet and it's the Dino Expedition. And it says, try me, realistic truck sounds. Why would I care about a truck making a sound? Vroom, vroom. I just made a sound. I don't want to hear dinosaurs. We'll test it to see what actually it does, okay? Because you got some cool dinosaurs in there. In fact, up at the top, it shows you that you got rotating wheels. Again, and we're focused on the truck. Okay. <laughs> Anything on the side? Well, on this side, it just says, you know, to explore Animal Planet, you know, the wild world of Animal Planet. And then on that side, it's just got the tail of it. And then on the back, it's the Dino Expedition travel back in time to when mighty dinosaurs roam the planet. And it includes two dinosaurs and a movable vehicle. That's good because you got to move when those things are after you, man. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. They got the setup there. They even have a med kit. Wow. With the size of those things, I don't think you get a med kit. I think you just go right from being chewed up to coffin. No meds in between. And then it says press buttons to activate light and sound for what? It talks about the truck on the front, but it could be dinosaur sounds. We'll find out. And then the cage open and closes to transport the dinosaur. So cool. Let's go ahead and open her up. It's not sliding. We got low clearance. Tuck your head. You're going to get hit. Oh, it's yapper. I, here I am just making a mess of myself. Are you cereal? This is so embarrassing. I don't look professional. <laughs> It's resisting. Oh, it coming. Oh, look at that. They even actually have some trees in the background. Looks like they've been burnt. <laughs> wow, we got a whole plethora of things going on there. Let me see if I can start cutting them out, starting with our uh, med kit, because that's the most important, you know. So there's the med kit, right? You got to fold it over. There you go. <laughs> cheap animal plant. They didn't put any bandages in it. And we got to, uh, how do we get this thing off? Let me see what the bottom is, looks like. Oh, okay, they got more deedles. So we got to twist and turn this dude, I think. Oh, he's really stuck in there, nailed in there good. I don't think we're supposed to take this one out. I think you're just supposed to cut the strap on him. So let's go ahead and just do that. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, he's very limber. I don't know, he looks like a ranger, you know, a forest ranger. We'll just call him, welcome, Bob. <laughs> The forest ranger. That's cool. Oh, yeah. He is a curious kind of a George, kind of a looking uh, George's uh, owner or whatever you call him, man. He, just, he had the yellow hat and everything. Now he's just green. I don't think one of these is curious George. I think one of this is chompy George. Okay, we're twisting, I think. It ain't coming. Let's twist this one. Oh my gosh, it wasn't a twist and pull. It's actually twist, 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 because it, it's the screw. Okay. Woo! There's the truck. Oh, that's cool. But wait, there's more. So, oh, what is this? This looks like um, some sort of megaphone or something, tripod. Oh, he's going to take pictures. Shoot, if you're going to shoot, don't shoot a picture. Use a gun. Shoot! <laughs> Okay, we got a whole thing of things going on. Look, we got a shovel here we can pull out, a witch's broom, some sort of scarab or overgrown bug. I guess we're just supposed to like pull these out. There you go, there's the shovel. And, and does it actually fit in his hand? Come on, Ranger Bob. It does. I guess he's the pooper scooper. <laughs> Clean up after you guys all the time. I don't even know what half these things are. I'm just gonna pull them out. Oh, I guess this is the filter. So when you're filtering dirt and stuff, you shake it about and then whatever settles, those are the bones, right? Okay, that's cool. I get it. There's the Sanderson sisters broom or the sweet, oh, the duster. There you go to find the bones. Well, why are we dealing with this stuff when these guys are alive? Maybe they're upset that you're digging up their ancestors. <laughs> and then this is a big bug. Does this bug have another side to it? Because look, it's got something like it could like hook up to. Man, I wish Animal Planet gave us more to go on, um, but they don't. Oh, and then we got like, oh, what is this? I was just going to toss this one away, but then I realized it looked like familiar. It's a pickaxe. 
And then this thing, that's real dinosaur poo. <laughs> uh, you're cleaner in your thoughts than I am. It just looks like dinosaur poo poo. It could be eggs, camera mom says. Oh, and this is the bright light, I guess. You know, you take your picture. Or it's a sign that, you know, says don't go in there. But the dinosaurs took it down. They're laughing, waiting for you to come in so they can have lunch. Okay, so that's that one. So here's the other one. Oh, okay, there we go. So you can see the side here. And I can't see what you guys see, but this is uh, the bones of the triceratops head, right? Uh, you got your different uh, tools to be able to work with. Your scraper, your digger, your, I guess, another brush. And this is where you get to stake your claim. I found dinosaurs, don't touch. And then also more bones there. So yeah, you just go ahead and just, oh wow, that's not easy. Uh, maybe just at the point, use the scissors. That makes it easier, okay. I wonder why they um, have two colors of this, you know? The bones are gray or white, you know, that makes sense. Well, I mean, the, the bones are white. Camel mom, I can't even focus. Sorry. You're playing with all of these toys. <laughs> The bones. Some things are just best left as a mystery because then where's your imagination? Camera mom, she gone cray, man. She got to figure things out. You know, that's what makes her a girl because they got to figure things out. Dudes just say, let it be, man. See, there's your egg right there. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Smashers. You Smashers, the egg with the eye that's poking out, you know? We got that, guys. You got to watch it. I mean, that's kind of cool. I want to spend more time on the dinosaurs, but, you know, there's the tools to dig up the bones and stuff. It looks like we got more poo. Okay, so some do work together, so let me get this out. See, look at this. This is the flag. Yay! We finally figured something out. <laughs> I'm going to go to school. <laughs> and then you got a footprint here. See, there's your dinosaur footprint. Kind of a teeny. So if you see something about that size, then you probably just need a, an AR, right? But anything bigger, you'll need a bazooka. So there's a comber. You can go ahead and comb through things. That's cool. Uh, so you got some tools. That's what's really fun. And then on to what we're really interested in is these uh, little, uh, well, they're not little. I mean, to scale here, it could easily have him for a snack. So let me get this girl off. I mean, is she really supposed to be up there? Or is that just a key? Keep her in place and she's got her booties on take her booties off uh, very sticky okay so i think this is a raptor would you guys say it's a raptor no she doesn't move her arms and she doesn't move her legs uh, she's kind of glued but she can stand that's the most important thing so oh man she's coming after she wants to help oh that's cool and then this one these just look all like raptors to me except she's got some like feathers so you see like underneath her arm, she's got the feathers there. So I'm not sure what kind of raptor, if like maybe she's kind of along the pyroraptor species, but you can't bend her legs or anything. She's stuck like that, okay? But it still looks really cool. So you can get um, Curious George's dad and put him in here to go driving, right? Does he sit down? Gosh, guys, this is horrible. There's no steering wheel in there. <laughs> The dinosaurs didn't want him to escape. So he has no steering wheel. Well, here we go with our imagination again. We got uh, Farmer Bob in there. And let's take this off. Oh, yeah, he can't see I out. Can't see him. Yeah, you can't see out. So you know how he has to drive. It's got to be standing up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got this. Where are we going? Oh, and then this one goes down, right? It's supposed to. Oh, yeah. He just turns around. And then it's like, <laughs> and then he's got to run around and then put it up. You know, she's pretty much caged in there. She can't get out. She could jump out, but look, she might be able to leap. You know, you kind of wish that they had something more to cover up because I've seen Jurassic World parts. One part, as soon as the raptor jumped up on like one of the tables, I'm like, that's it. That's all I know. That's all I saw. Or maybe it's just maybe not for her. You think she would be able to get out? These guys know how to like grapple. They got the grappling hooks there. So, oh, and it does roll. Look at that. So it does roll. That's awesome. We forgot about the buttons. We've got to find out just how interactive we can be with these uh, buttons. What kind of sounds they make. I'm feeling my way. The first button. Let's see what it sounds like. Where's the speaker? I got to. Oh, it's at the bottom here. Okay. So let's do the first button. Whoa, that's cool. And the car lights are like, maybe you can picture it at night, you know, with the car lights coming on and you just see flashes of this dinosaur just coming towards you. Man, roaring. Does it make any other sounds or we'll do the first one again? Look out for the dinosaur! <laughs> Why well, you say, look out at the dinosaur! Who's he talking to to look out? It's just him! <laughs> That's cool. Actually, three sounds on the same button. And uh, that one gave a little honk, a little warning, like, get off the road. I mean, you think these guys, I don't know, maybe the sound of the honky would scare them. Let's go to the second button. We gotta get out of here. You see that? It sounds like scary. It sounds like, we gotta get out of here, man. And then you hear the thing backing up. Dude, dude, I mean, dude, dude, she's already on here. <laughs> 
such a slow way of getting out of there. You don't say we got to get out of here. Do, 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 do. And the dinosaur is just sitting here going, uh-huh, uh-huh, no. <laughs> That was the closest I've ever came to Shaggy. Uh, it's been a while since we've done some like Legos or Shaggy or Scooby. It'd be fun to do those again. Hold on, let's see what we got here. We gotta get out of here! Ah! He's singing. Yeah, he's almost in the shower singing, We gotta get out of here! Like a vibrato, you know, vocal gymnastics. <laughs> well, that was short. I think it's the shortest one I've ever heard. That didn't sound, sound like a guy was in there going, arg, 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 arg. but you know, it's they got the chomping down. It sounded pretty cool. We gotta get That's cool. So I think there's like, I think maybe six sounds so far that we've heard. We got to get out of here. Just takes the cake. Just that alone is the reason why I would buy this. <laughs> Okay, guys, that's cool. So you just got to picture him. We got to get out of here. Curious George is going to get eaten. Okay, guys, for the last one, the hugest of all hugest toys I think we've had in a long time. Okay, it's the Animal Planet. You got electronic battling dinos and the T-Rex really roars. And then it's got the included batteries, the triple A's. Then it's got the AG-13 included. It's got the lights. It's got the sounds. That's just so awesome. Here's the top. He just knocked it off. We gotta get out of here. Oh, the show must go on. It's got real chomping action, it says. Okay. And then on the back, it says, Electronic battling dinos get set for one of a kind journey among some of the mightiest creatures ever to have lived. Cruising your helicopter to scope out the scene for your next dinosaur fossil excavation. But beware, hungry real life T Rex may be lurking around the corner. And then now you can interact with the mighty T Rex. So you can see, I think it's a Spinosaurus. It's, well, it shows that dinosaur lighting up on the spines, blue, which is really cool. And then this T Rex has got real chomping action. That's awesome. So we just need to start cutting and gutting. I can't see what you guys can see, but oh wow. God, oh, it's a lot there, isn't it guys? Man, that is around and so tight. Oh, I don't know if I can get them off with that. I'll try this. Okay, there's G.I. Joe. Oh, I gotta get him right there. And there's the, I don't know, it looks like he's gotten kind of a helicopter gear or something, because we got a helicopter and he looks like he got his headset on and stuff. That's cool. Let's go with the helicopter. And there's the whirly. Gosh, maybe it'd be great if they could put on a hat and call it a beanie. So he's the helicopter dude, so he's supposed to be sitting in there, right? He's got to sit down, otherwise he's going to lose his head. There we go. What is he he's actually got his bullhorn. A dinosaur is coming after you. I repeat, get out of the road. We got to get out of here. And yeah, actually they gave you the same stuff in that other one. I mean, we saw this before, right guys? We actually have the, the scraper, we have the head, we have the flag. Okay, so same stuff. If you didn't get that one, you'll get it in here. And then what is this? Oh, it's a scooper pooper. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Maybe that goes to the helicopter, we'll have to see. Oh, it's a hook too, we got the hook. Okay, wait a second, I think I got this. I think hook's right here, right? Okay, and then, oh, oh man. Animal Planet doesn't tell you much. Okay, cool. So you see that guys, right there. Cool, okay, so we'll, we'll put him down right here. We'll keep working. Okay, who's next? This little dude? Okay, you can't move him. And so it looks like just another raptor to me, but that looks cool. And let's get this uh, bird up here. A different version of a raptor, I assume. Okay, this one, again, you can't, I don't think you can move them. Can you? Oh, no, no, this one you can move. Oh, nice. You can actually move her legs. Okay, we're not in Jurassic World, so I can say him now, can I? Yeah, I can, because this is Animal Planet. Ain't going Jurassic World. <laughs> that's awesome. The boys can hang out now. <laughs> oh, that's just cool. I just like uh, the word. The bird is the word. And then we got a, what is this? Some sort of kind of Komodo dragon? I am the toy specialist. No, just got a toe, we're good. Take the camera, get the camera out of here. Surgery. <laughs> oh my, okay. I don't think she's missing any, he's missing any toes. They're all he's now, just to make up for all the she's. Okay. <laughs> that just looks cool. These guys going after each other. I mean, that's quite, that's gonna be quite the battle. And then and he's gonna come in and third party him. And then he's just, whoever the winner is, he just rides. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
And let's get out the spinal source first. Oh yeah. Okay, guys, you wanna stay around because they're supposed to light up and I do wanna turn off the lights and do the truck with the lights and stuff and just kind of play that. That'd be so fun. Just have, oh, we gotta get out of here. And then, dee, dee. so right here it says, try me. And so if you can see, I believe it's a Spinosaurus that if you just move the arms, then this should light up and something else should happen, okay? So let's go ahead and mic her. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's really cool. So the eyes light up, red light, that's gotta look super cool in the dark. And then the back of her spine lights up, which is awesome. Kind of reminds me of Godzilla, you know, when he gets like all electrocuted and stuff and his whole back hackles and then he shocks King Kong. And it's so cool, you get the sounds, that's awesome. But does she move? Can you open her mouth? No, her mouth is frozen shut. So you get the lights, you get the sounds, which is really awesome. Okay, is it always gonna be the same sound? Should we try it again? Kind of sounds like I'm flushing the toilet. I mean, it does. Just the first part sounds like you're flushing the toilet. I mean, that's really cool. That is a great sound. And her jaw does move just a little bit, just a teeny bit. Just barely noticeable when you start playing with their arms. That's cool. I can't wait for the T-Rex. And we'll turn the lights off, guys. In just a minute, let me um, get our T-Rex out of here. All these cool dinosaurs. Okay, so you can see our T-Rex. You can see their eyes. I mean, they almost look like rubies. If you look in the eyes, it kind of looks like rubies and the light up, that'd be super cool. And the tongue and the teeth, and you can move her. Camera mom says she's got like screws. It doesn't look good on the side. This is her better profile. <laughs> That's interesting. That's as far as you can move her feet. And there's no sense in putting it back. Uh, although it looks really cool. She looks like she's standing up like a good gal. Here we go. We're gonna play with her arms. That sounds like Godzilla. Man, that is awesome. We got to do this in the dark. But before we do it in the dark, let's just hurry and pull out our backdrop and see what kind of, uh, I mean, how we can play with this. Okay, this is what it looks like. I mean, here's the uh, satellite dish. And uh, is this a gun? <laughs> you can't turn it or anything. It's just kind of there. Is this open up? Oh, it does. Hey, good. Cool. But there's nothing we can drive in there. Unless you have a matchbox car. Yeah, low clearance. He has to get in there, you know. And then, oh, maybe it's the dinosaur cage. But I don't know if any dinosaurs can act. Because look, maybe it's to protect you at night. Because this is the fortress here. And there's the uh, uh, radar. And then here's the lift. See if it can actually lift him. Put him in there, right? Okay. And then you got this. And you just like... Oh yeah, that's move. And you get right up here, right? And then he can get off. But these guys always love jumping and uh, the weight low just tears it down and then just nom, 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 nom. I like it. That just makes it fun. Well, you can just get him up there. Okay, so he can stand and he can look over. Uh, he's got to get bend his head in there. Okay, so that looks legit, right? So it looks like he knows what he's doing. And there's the ladder. Oh, that's just kind of cool. And then there's the cage to keep the dinosaurs. But we don't have any small dinosaurs here. You couldn't even get him in here because of his hackles too high up. Oh, with this, can we actually pick up a dinosaur? So let's see if we, who, who should we get? Uh, this bird, I gotta open it up enough. Squeezy, squeezy. Na, 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 na. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then we just drop it on Bob here. <laughs> Man, stop pranking me. That's cool that it can actually hold it like that. That's awesome. And then just, you know, if she's getting out of control, just bye-bye. Uh, you know, it'd be cool if this was actually a gun, but it just looks like, oh, it's a camera. I thought it was in some sort of bullhorn. Like, get up and get out of here. Okay, that wasn't as creepy. We need somebody else. We need take two. Watch out for the dinosaur! That actually worked, because he said watch out for the dinosaur, okay? Wow, that's just so cool. Besides the seizures that I get from the back of her spine just flashing so much. I love the red eyes.
Oh guys, I just noticed when we were talking about this like green scarab that camera mom says it might be a backpack and it has this little extension on the back, right? Well, with uh, Curious George, you know, he doesn't have any extension that came in that pack, the smaller one, but this big, huge pack, this dude, it actually has a hole that just fits this perfectly so you can slide it right in and there's his backpack. What is Ammo Panic Tinking Mon? Well, you buy a little one and it's like, this doesn't fit anything. Guess got to buy the bigger one, the action figure, so you can have a backpack. And if you get the big one, you're like, well, where's the backpack? So you got to buy the little one. I mean, it's just, wow. With the Animal Planet, they got the sounds, the lights, it's just super fun, okay? But they don't have the action in the figures like uh, Jurassic World, those licensed toys have. And so I think out of all of them, I really like the T-Rex the most because it just reminds me of the old Godzilla show, just the way he roars or she, right, she. And then the ones that I love out of here, the Gigantosaurus is super cool. That one's a favorite. And the Thrizonsaurus, uh, that one uh, is a close second to the Gigantosaurus. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. We got more on the way. Now on to the Fortnite Challenge. Rock got a win in a dinosaur skin i chose the dark rex but since it's you know star wars the seasonal update may the force be with you i chose the lighter side of the dark rex and you can too that's right be sure to like and subscribe and you and you i want your fries i want a hamburger and a shake yeah and if you guys want to support me before you purchase anything in the item shop in the bottom right hand corner you can go ahead and click on support a creator and then type in adventure fun all one word it doesn't cost you a thing and it helps me out thanks guys okay guys it is may 4th we're gonna see some uh, star wars skins out there and if you get a chance we'll talk to obi-wan or the sith lord or uh, the sith i think he's a lord i don't know anyway it's been a while since i've seen uh, star wars but i'm ready to take a challenge on i'm gonna go ahead and mark the sand pit so i can get a kinetic blade i find that that works very well jump and so when it comes to playing, you know, during the Star Wars update, you got some quests you gotta fulfill. Well, this one I'm not too focused on the quests, except for launch kinetic ore with the Star Wars weapon, which I think you can do that with the uh, Stormtrooper blaster. And so, you know, if we get one, we get one. I just gotta go for what I need to go for first, and that's mobility. I need mo. Mo, mo, mo. And what kind of kinetic blade are we gonna get? Okay, two charged, rare. All right. Bounty, quicker eliminator. Let's get some keys. I want to be the key master. And then let's go up here to the bowling alley and fly. And there you go. You can always count on the bowling alley to have some loose spare change around, you know. No bowling shoes, but hey, we got plenty of chest and change. Grab that shotgun. Go. I didn't get any shield, but I do have a sniper gun. Okay, rifle, rifle, right. Let's fly. I could use some shield. And get a chest. Oh, we got a big pot. Nice. Oh, slap it. Let's just go in here. I'll worry about the slap it later. Let's see what's in the chest. I got some minis. Yeah, I just realized. Better take minis first. And then for the potty break I've always been waiting for. Let's so we fleshing. I'll go for the Maven. Then let's head over to the next shack just below this ridge here. I'll have to remember to get the Og, the Og. And, oh, okay, there's somebody below. Tiptoe on the roof. I am defeated on the roof. Not anymore. Let's just take it from a different angle. Take two. Oh, it's Naruto. Oh, he's doing an Og or something? I think it was a bot. Maybe. If not, okay, my mistake. I wanna go for broke, man. Munition slide, electric scootin', electric rootin' scootin' bugaloo. That's what I meant to say, tongue tied. Um, anything here? Let's pick up some ammo, gold. Um, did you loot this out? Connect blade. Um, okay, got a couple of keys and we'll go for the Cobra DMR. A river runs through it. And what's behind the rock chest? We got that. Okay, not much there. Mm, got some live action over there. You know, I was always told never to get involved. But I must go because it's my duty. It's my call and it's duty. <laughs> you know, when the boys wanted to play Call of Duty, I'm like, that just sounds so funny. Is somebody left to duty? Okay, I think that's a tigress outfit maybe. 42. You know what? I might as well just head on over there. 
See what the dealio is up. Ooh, close to the bush. Uh, this one. Okay. I gotta reload. There we go. Uh, not a bad start. Three limbs so far. Let's go for the AUG. Yeah, let's do something light. Because <laughs> it only matches the light side of the dark Rex. Oh, wow. Look, they're walking in. Ooh. He blends so well with the leaves. Ooh, that was a real good hit. Nice. And I think they're just blindly shooting in the bush thinking I was there. I was right on their side. I was right beside them the whole way. Right, let's go ahead and run and loot. Run and loot. Loot and run. Right and skate and buggy. There's a... Ooh. I'll take the key, and we'll take the epic SM SMG. SMG. Oh, yeah, I could use a little slap. Nice. Uh, anything I want to buy here? Oh man, upgrade your shop. I don't have any use for it right now. And then we can slap it. Um, rumors going around next season of Fortnite is going to be jungle. So we're going to go to Jungle Boogie. All this will be a lot lusher and greener, I assume. With some volcanoes that erupt. <laughs> Maybe if they had the force, then you could throw people in the volcano. Ah! Well, wow, that'll wake you up. Thunderclap. I don't know. I'm tempted to go on the island and see if I can capture the point, but so many people go for the uh, ultimate weapon in Fortnite, at least at this point in time. That uh, spammer rifle. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's a spammer rifle. <laughs> and that's what I call it. Well, another thunder clap, and it manifests itself. What's that? Whose holocron is that? Uh, it's that uh, Anakin. Yeah, I think Obi. Opie dopey is the green one. Hey, there's a rift to go. Let's see where it leads us. Let's go. Get into circle, but... Oh, island's right below me. Welcome to Fantasy Island. I'm Mr. Rort, your host. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And we can land in the tree and just, like, capture the point in the tree. Will it support me? Ugh. Maybe I could try to kinetic up into the tree. Oh, I just chopped the tree down. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can capture here. Um, well, the point, you know, that being the point. Uh, uh, okay. Do you guys like the Star Wars update? I think out of all the updates of Star Wars, I think this is the best one that I've been, or at least the one that I enjoyed the most. I love the uh, lightsabers. Okay, where are we at? Yeah, I'll take up the Golden Maven Auto Shotgun. And then the overclock pulse rifle. That's what it was. Ah, it was ticking in my head, something about clock. I just couldn't get over it. But now I know, it's overclocked. <laughs> It's the only way to memorize things, you know, in school. Just had to make fun of what I had to remember. Okay. Um, probably just kind of skirt the outskirts of the perimeter here. Got eight players left. Will a lightsaber really stop my overclocked rifle? Stay tuned. More on Fortnite tonight. Let's keep going to circle. It's just kind of cool in a way how the storm shifts. Half of it's in a circle sometimes, and you know, compared to where it was always on the outer rim. Man, it keeps you kind of like navigating and not staying too complacent. <laughs> if I could just sit in this bush all day, I would. Go outside and play! No. Oh. Ooh, okay. Wow. That makes a nice, tidy work there. <laughs> I do have a gold uh, Havoc rifle, but... Huh, they have the Glock, I, I have the clock. Oh, okay, he spies somebody. Ooh, good show. Ooh. You got the high ground. Oh, <laughs> one shot. They had each other pretty hammered. All I had to do is just make one shot. That's cool. Oh, 1v2, okay. And I'm going to have to start heading in the other direction. And that's just so wild how the storm circle is outside of the zone. And then all of a sudden the zone shifts into sometimes the... Uh, oh, wait. Into the storm. And it's just crazy. It just adds a different dynamic. I'm intrigued. I don't know if a Fortnite will ever change that, but eh, we'll see. You know, go back to the way it was. Whoa, hey. Yeah. 
Ooh, <laughs> nice bounce. <laughs> it must be Michelin or Goodyear. Oh, yeah, you're coming, aren't you? Ooh. Oh, God, just makes right work of anybody. Okay, 1v1. I just got to look out for the other player here. I could be anywhere up there on that hill behind those bamboo, gumbo, gambo. God, look at that. So the whole, like, uh, zone has shifted into the storm. Keep your eye on the zone. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> All right! That was awesome. That was fun. Good game. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We got more on the way. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.